Hello, everyone. My name is Haisheng Zhang. I'm the Dean of Integrative Health Medicine College of UEWM. I'm a seventh generation family practitioner of classical Chinese medicine, guided by Master Yang for almost 30 years. I received my medical doctor degree from Jenny University of TCM in 2012. I was able to heal the stage four cancer patients who had been operated on several times and had no hope of survival. But within a year of acupuncture, medical qigong or heart opening practice, according to this Asian system, and a total change of heart happened that unleashed her healing power to come to the forefront. All of tumor around ovary, uterus, or kidneys, everything disappeared in a short period. So that is potential of classical Chinese medicine if we practice it efficiently. So it is our interest as students and as practitioner that will keep this clinical culture of Chinese medicine alive. Qigong is source of mind body medicine, one essential harmonious therapist with movements, breathing, and form where movement is predominant and mental stillness is stressed. In other forms, stu physical stillness is, is stressed and mental motion is cultivated in a particular way. And then lifestyle modification is vast and outlook insight modification is also enormous. Classical Chinese medicine is a self-contained, highly incorporated whole medical system with theory Develop, developed through observation of nature and how individuals are reflected in and are affected by natural processes and environmental condition, the source of the universe. It always see humans as part of the natural world and I believe that the body will heal itself if you give a proper condition to heal itself. It's also a way of categorizing phenomena again to the seven emotion, very sort of generally said to be a significant cause of units. And this is again, looking at that mind-body connection and how consciousness affects your physiology. And then there are broad categories of trauma, diets and lifestyle that can do that too. Classical Chinese medicine is understood to be observational biology and what kind of flowing and Circulary is within you that allow you to do specific action. Classical Chinese medicine gives us a greater breadth of understanding of how human organism may work, such as diet, lifestyle, and how emotion affect your physiology. So classical Chinese medicine is a science that fully embraced energetic and spiritual reality will be much better than in regular textbook system of TCM. To study TCM well, we need to understand the characteristic of energy, spirit, holism of classical Chinese medicine. It can be accomplished by learning the classic doctrine series and practice at UEWM. That is concerned about the flow of qi and blood. And so consciousness and mind with holism that's why you can never really master the art because it's working with changing energies and emotions. In contrast, modern allopathic medicine describes treating with the total opposite parts or suffering. So most modern medicine is based on opposite scientific methods to treat bad things with opposite. So we have authentic antidepressants, anti inflammatory, anti nauseous but most people feel a little dis dissatisfied with modern medicine. They want to feel good, they want to feel deep happiness. The Huang Di Nei Jing can help people feel better. It has two parts about what is seen and young. What are five seasons? How do season factors? And then the second part talk about how actually to practice this with needle marks Bursting or dire things or talk about more of spiritual aspects. Human being that in peaceful emptiness, the authentic chi flows 
easily, and essence and spirits are kept within the possible rights. In ancient times, the people who understand Tao pattern themselves upon the yin and yang, and they live in harmony with the art of divination. That's partially back to harmony, real essence, and it's partially back to harmony and right relationship with ourselves and with each other and with seeing with the universe. I do think that working with these models of ancient tradition can bring us back to nature. And I don't see burnout as a disease. I see it as right message of body. So as classical Chinese medicine practitioner, we work with synergy. Human being live in a world of complex e ecology. So we live in this quantum world, which is all about relationship. There is nothing wrong with us. Ultimately, we have to discover our way to balance and harmony. Modern medicine is focused on time and location. In contrast, classical Chinese medicine live beyond the time-space continuums. The classical Chinese system relates to the above to below, the heaven to earth, energy, reality to the universe, and material reality reality, including the human body. If you look at the Big Deeper, it rotates from through the sky, through the four seasons. So the Big Deeper is kind of guide star for the Taoist practitioner. We operate on the same principle of the sun and the moon and star. Classical Chinese medicine treats units primarily by regulating qi. For example, Gua Sha is a straightforward technology that uses a soup spoon to release the status from tissue and bring it to the surface. I've seen people come in with chronic shoulder pain. It was getting MRI or thousand dollars intervention done. They want to do surgery. But we did a series of five Gua Sha treatments on him and he's been good to go for years now. Look, it brought, brought up dark purple stasis from the tissue to first time and second time lighter and just clear up in it. exactly. So the central TCM doctrine of school source include Taoist healing arts, medical classic doctrine, formulary doctrine and integrative medicine doctrine, focusing on significant TCM classic works and texts. Taoist medicine focus on advance of disease prevention, the emphasis on longevity medicine and the moral code of ethics. The practitioner will gain function insights in herbal therapy, aging, chronic unit therapy from study of Taoist medicine. So by understanding these concepts and doctrines, the students will gain a deeper understanding of the formation and development of TCM theory and practice. The integrative medicine doctrine was initiated around 1573 AD when a lot of Western medicine and cultural influence came to China. The main thing is how do we integrate the TCM, the Western medicine and use Western medical terminologies to combine TCM disease treatment since 430 years ago. And from 1998, where is that reverse? When we were in America, it's about how TCM, acupuncture, modality of oriental medicine, integrated into Western medicine. So in this way, it does an exciting creative idea to how we can best support and provide our patients with the best natural harmless therapies and practice. In summary, by exploring the richness of classical Chinese medicine tradition, we can truly appreciate the depth and the breadth of this medicine. What we learn from the past to give us foundation to move forward. The better understanding we have about each doctrine and the classics, the better we become in our doctrine skill. There are no real school that teach CCM in terror, they all teach modernized version. UEWM is placed with orange of Chinese medicine, which is the dream school for you.
welcome. Thank you.